pleomorphic adenoma, a slightly gland tumor with many appearances. It is going to confuse us. No, at Dentozen, we are not going to let it trouble you because we are going to make you familiar with each and every appearance of pleomorphic adenoma. So welcome to Dentozen and let's learn histopathology diagram of pleomorphic adenoma. Subscribe to Dentozen if you have not done till now. That will motivate me more. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So let's start with the histopath diagram of pleomorphic adenoma. Now pleomorphic adenoma is a slightly gland tumor with pleomorphic appearances. So it has two components, epithelial component and connective tissue component in the histopath. So epithelial component is made up of ductal and myoepithelial cells. Now these cells can form different arrangements like these cells may be lying in strands, cords, sheets, islands. So that is the first component, epithelial component, ductal and myoepithelial cells proliferating in strands, cords, duct-like arrangements, sheets and islands. Then the second component is connective tissue component. Now this component can be seen as chondroid area, cartilage-like area, it can be a myxoid area or it can be an osseous area, bone-like area. So these are the two components, epithelial component and connective tissue component. So let's draw these two components. First is epithelial component. It may form different arrangements. So duct-like structures of different sizes lined by ductal cells which appear cuboidal in shape. Then around them we can see myoepithelial cells which can acquire variable appearances. They can be spindle shaped cells, they can be angular cells or they can be plasma cytoid, plasma cell like. So we'll make myoepithelial cells surrounding these ductal cells. So these are the different arrangements of epithelial component. So now we can draw the nuclei for these cells. So that is ductal cells with blue nuclei here. Now these duct-like structures or areas may contain pink material within them. So that is termed as eosinophilic coagulum. So let's draw eosinophilic coagulum. It can appear like this. Pink material lying within these structures. Now we'll make nuclei for myoepithelial cells. Now this is the first component that is epithelial component of this tumor. Second component is connective tissue component. Now this connective tissue component can be a chondroid area which can look like a cartilage. So it will be blue in color, it will contain chondrocytes, so it is blue colored area. Then apart from that we can also see osseous area, bone like area which will be pink in color. So this is chondroid area that we are making here. Then we have, we can have osseous areas, bone-like areas that will draw with pink color. So we can have bone-like areas. These bone-like areas will have lacunae for osteocytes, which will contain osteocytes. And these will be pink in appearance. And next thing that we can see is myxoid area, which contains myxoid connective tissue. So this is osseous area, bone-like area. This is another one, another bone-like area. So we can fill it with pink color. So 
and completely fill it. Then we have big soil area which is made up of big soil connective tissue. So it can be seen in the different parts of the tumor. So we can see cells. So this tumor may be sometimes surrounded by an area which can be seen in the histopathology that is the capsule. It is made up of collagen fibers. So here we have the pleomorphic adenoma. You can fill the background with the pink color. So let's see the different components. First is the ductal and myoepithelial cells proliferating in strands called sheets, islands, duct-like structures. Now these areas contain pink material which is called eosinophilic coagulum eosinophilic coagulum then we have connective tissue component which can be a myxoid area it can be a chondroid area it can be a osseous area then we can see the connective tissue capsule that is the diagram of pleomorphic adenoma i hope you will find it easy now and you can easily recall it in the exams so tap on the like button if you found this video helpful and keep sharing keep growing keep following dental zen see you in the next video till then take care bye bye